What's going on everyone? This is Dark Synth, and in this video I will be going over how to uh, make or create combos with Jack so that you can fully understand his combo game and how to utilize um, his damage routes and uh, wall carry routes as well as going over uh, some Oki, uh, his mini combos and counter hit combos. So without further ado, let's just get into it. So starting off with Jack's launchers we have his uh, generic down forward 2. So this is 15 frames, so you will be punishing moves that are 15 frames or greater with this, uh, especially Rage Arts. Um, the next good launcher he has, it's a little slower, but the cool thing about it is it can go under highs. So if we have him set to block, I do something that's barely minus or plus, and he tries to jab back, this will crush uh, whatever high the opponent goes for and launch them up in the air. So for a while standing launcher, if we happen to block a move that's minus 15 or more, crouching, so a low, you will use while standing one. So if we go ahead and block Kazuya's Hell Suite, we will use while standing one to launch our opponent and then go for our combo from there. Don't worry, I will be going over the filler, uh, tornado moves, combo enders, and what to do at the wall. So that way you can understand what to go for in whatever situation that you're in. And the last launcher I want to go over with Jack is Ford Ford 1 plus 2. Uh, what this does is it crumples the opponent and you can pick up with back 3-2, which I will go over his fillers and his combo enders, so just uh, hold tight on that. But the way you're going to use Ford Ford 1 plus 2 is mainly as a whiff punisher. So if you're playing neutral and you see your opponent whiff, you can just quickly do Ford Ford 1 plus 2 and get that crumple hit and get that combo. And his last launcher I will go over is a little weird because it's his throw. So in order to do it, it's down forward, down forward, 2 plus 4, but you have to press the last down forward and 2 plus 4 kind of on the same frame. There is a little bit of leeway, but you kind of want to be uh, pretty accurate with your inputs. And if you do it correctly, you'll if you do it correctly, you'll get a blue spark if you see it come out of Jack's left hand. So down forward, down forward, 2 plus 4, and then after that, you can combo and go into up 1 plus 2. So once you launch him up in the air, you can go for up 1 plus 2, and then go for your, uh, your usual filler into your tornado spin. Another thing I want to touch on is with his command grab launcher, since throws hard counter armor moves in this game, meaning if you use a throw after a armor blocked armored move, you will get a guaranteed punish and the opponent cannot break them. So knowing that information, with Jack's down forward, down forward, 2 plus 4 throw, it being 11 frames, if you block an armored move, you get a guaranteed armor, uh, guaranteed launch punish with this. So, I mistimed my up for or up 1 plus 2, but uh, that's just the main idea. So, if you ever block an armored move, punish with this, as it's a free launcher, and you can get some pretty decent damage into maybe a good setup with it. But now that we know Jack's three main launchers to use, we need to figure out what he can use in order to juggle his opponent and get damage from his combos. So, the three main fillers that you're going to be using with Jack is back 3-2, so that, back 1, and if you launch them with while standing 1, you're going to use up 1 plus 2, which is that double piston move. And this also acts like a launcher, but you're not really going to use this in neutral like that uh, against opponents, so this will mainly be used for combo filler. So once we juggle our opponent with back 3-2, we can go for a back 1 afterwards. And this will kind of pop the opponent up and turn them uh, face down, but you can still juggle after. So you will use forward 1-2-1, one, one, and that will uh, tornado spin them. So that's one tornado spin for Jack that we're going to use. 
the next tornado spin move that we're gonna use is down forward one one. Um, so you can do something like back three two, back one, and then down forward one one. However, this down forward one one ender may not work on some characters, even some male characters, but mainly specifically uh, female characters because of just how small their hurt box is. So. Just be careful of that when you're uh, doing your combos. And the third tornado move that we will be using is Gamma Howl forward, one pl uh, forward plus one. So we launch our opponent back three two, back three two, and then to go into Gamma Howl from there, you will hold down. So back three two, back three two, down forward one, uh, forward plus one. My bad. So it should look something like this. And then you get your tornado and you can go for a combo ender. Which combo enders we will get into right now. Okay, so we have quite a few enders to go over. And I do have the status saved. So we have it right where Kazuya gets tornado spun. And so without further ado, the first ender you can go into is Ford Ford 1 plus 2. This is a very damaging ender. It's... So, my bad. It's running 2. So you press Ford 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 1 plus 2. So you have to tap Ford 3 times uh, in a rapid succession and then 1 plus 2. The second ender you can go into is Ford Ford 4, which is this big boot. And another ender you can go into is back 1-2, which is this one. <clears throat> and you can get a setup off this, uh, depending on if your opponent texts the roll after that, but we'll get into that here in a little bit. So just another uh, few enders I forgot to touch on. Um, you kind of have to make sure you end your combo short so that you don't push your uh, opponent too far away when you go for these, otherwise they won't reach. So if you just go for your down forward 2 launcher, back 3 2, down forward 1 1, you can go into back 3 2 into stance. And then, okay, so that doesn't reach, so I know forward 1 does. So you can go back 3 2, forward 1. And if you know that you're going to push them a little too far away, just like these routes are going, you can do forward 3 instead, which doesn't have as much pushback on hit. And you can go uh, for those enders. Uh, another ender you can go for is Gamma Howl 4. And you're going to use that for heat combos, which I will go over. So now I guess we can talk about some counter hit launchers and what you can get off of certain counter hits. So starting off, if we go into Gamma Howl and do three, first we have to be in counter hit state. This will launch the opponent. As you can see, uh, the camera zooms in real quick and it, he crumples to the ground. So what you do after this is pick up with back three, two. I'm just not doing it quick enough. And then you go for your uh, filler and a tornado and then ender the next counter hit uh launcher is back one two and the counter hit launcher being the two in the string oops what you can do is standing four back three two and then go for your uh tornado uh and whatever and the last counter hit launcher he gets is standing four so if you have an interrupt your opponent and you press stand four he uh gets a launcher and you can follow up with uh back three two um, for error. or he can go into back one nope never mind or you can just go into forward one two one so when it comes to the wall, some of the best wall uh, carry moves to use to push your opponent and wall splat them is forward 1-2-1. One, one. Uh, as you can see, it will wall splat them. 
and uh, you can go for a wall ender, which I'll talk about here in a minute. Um, you can also go into back 3-2 gamma stance, and then uh, forward 1. That will also wall splat them. Um, another good string to wall splat is forward 3-2. And back three, two, two. Um, so those are the three strings, three to four. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, strings that you're going to use to push your opponent to the wall and wall splat them. So what do you do after you wall splat your opponent? There's a few wall enders you can use. Typically, I tend to just stick with one to two. Um, but I'll try to go over as many as I can think of. So, say you actually push your opponent to the wall and wall splat them. So what you're going to want to do hold on, is run up. So you're going to want to run up. It doesn't even have to be a wall splat either. If you tornado them next to the wall, that's okay too. You can go for the wall enders I'm about to go over. So, say you wall splat them. You can do back three, two. And then you can get another hit in after that. So what you're gonna do is back three two. So after back three two, you're gonna do down forward three plus four, and that last hit is guaranteed and does quite a bit of damage. So the next wall ender you can do is back one two. And e your opponent can back roll this setup. But if they don't, they will stay on the ground and you will get a guaranteed uh, down two. So even if they try to roll, that down two will be guaranteed, but they won't be able to roll because of the amount of hit stun they will be in from the back one two. But that's only if they don't hold back on wake up. And the last wall ender I'd like to go over is from his stance. So you can either go into it from forward three so forward three down or back three two but if you want more damage i recommend going it into it from back three two so once we launch our opponent and wall splat them we can go back three two and i kind of messed it up and then go into forward two once you go into the stance and that will be guaranteed they actually can't roll out of that, so... All of that's guaranteed, and that does a pretty good uh, amount of damage. So when it comes to heat engagers, you're gonna want to know these, as uh, it will help you understanding what moves to use when you are, uh, when you do have heat activated, and you can go for your heat dash combos. So starting off with back 1 plus 2, um, this is pretty unsafe on block. But, if you're using it in combos, um, it will activate a uh, heat dash, and you can activate it as a heat engager. Next up is back 2. It's just like back 1 plus 2, but I think it does do slightly less damage compared to back 1 plus 2. So when you use these in a uh, combo, I recommend using back 1 plus 2. And then the last uh, heat engager slash heat dash move that you want to use for combos is Gamma Howl, which is 3 plus 4, uh, into 4. So it's this little rocket boost kick that he can do. If you're going to create a heat combo, it should look something like this. You go for your back 1 plus 2, and then you can go for a uh, ender of some sort. So going over some Oki setups for Jack, um, so that way you can know how to land some counter hits if your opponent doesn't tech roll correctly and if they try to mash on wake up. So um, after you go for your, you know, your usual BNB, what you're gonna want to do is end in forward forward one and then go into Gamma Howl from it. So in order to go into Gamma Howl from um, his strings, all you do is just tap or hold down. 
And then if they don't tech this uh, correctly, uh, and they try and wake up with buttons, you can go for Gamma Howl 3 and land a counter hit and then pick them up and go for your combo from there. Like so. The next setup I want to talk about um, is a little more difficult, not too much, but it just requires a little more timing. If your opponent does uh, either wake up holding back, or if they try to retaliate with a wake up kick, they will get counter hit. So again, after your typical BNB, you're going to want to go into your ender and then back one as your uh, ender after your tornado. Now, you can beat this setup by tech rolling it by tapping one or three just as you hit the ground. But if your opponent doesn't do that and doesn't know how to beat this setup, you can run up to them and if they hold back at that situation, if they hold back or try to do some kind of wake up kick, they will get blown up. So you can run up and then down forward two, launch them, and go for your combo. So again, this will only work if your opponent holds back on wake up and if they don't tech roll when they hit the ground. But that's really it for this jack combo guide. If you like this format a lot better of me going over the moves that you need to know in order to create combos for characters, let me know in the comments below. Um, let me know what character you would like to learn combos for next. Uh, if you haven't seen, I have a playlist of some combo guides for characters, so make sure you go check that out. But that's it. This is Darkson signing out. I hope you take care. Money back. Everybody wanna know.